And now for section three of the London Loop, Pets Wood to West Wickham Common. I do think this is a great name for a uh, lane. Nice sunflowers in the last section, and we've got nice blue flowers in this section. Now, this section I'm currently walking, which is uh, the 13th section I've done, um, puts me well over halfway around uh, the loop. So uh, I've done uh, over 75 miles now uh, since I started at the beginning of uh, January. So only another 75 or so to go, then I've completed all 150. And this is uh, Crofton Village and as you notice there is a uh, clergyman on the uh, village uh, crest. The reason why there's a clergyman on the crest of uh, Crofton Village is because Crofton Manor was owned by uh, Archbishop Odo who uh, fought in the Battle of Hastings and uh, subsequently commissioned the uh, Bayeux Tapestry which is in uh, uh, Bayeux in Northern France and commemorates uh, William the Conqueror's battle in 1066. Uh, now being a um, a clergyman, he wasn't allowed to uh, uh, draw blood, so instead of carrying a sword in the battle, he used a big club instead. Now, I suppose if you club somebody over the head, that's going to draw blood, a bit of blood. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what the difference between using a club and using a sword is. Pretty pretty. And this is St Giles uh, the Abbot Church. And buried somewhere in this churchyard is um, the famous Gypsy Lee who was uh, buried here in 1933. Now every year St Giles Fair is held on this field and the fair is a very old fair as it uh, got its charter back in 1220. Now it's time for a cup of tea. Now, fortified after my cup of tea and piece of cake, continue on with the next bit of the section to um, West Wickham Con. And we're going through an old orchard now. I do live the name of this lane, Boggy Lane. So I wonder how it got its name.
Indeed, we have a spring. And it leads out into a pond. We now reach West Wickham Common and not far now to the end of the section. And so ends section three of the London Loop.